So I just got the new 2022 MacBook Air and it's been two years since the Air got a refresh, but they really came in big this time with a new chip and also a new design, which I'm super excited about. Later on, I'll be taking this with me to my classes to see how it performs. So let's just open this thing up now. This is what the box looks like. It just has a picture of the side profile of the MacBook Air in the front. Where's the tab? Oh, here it is. So let's peel this off. Very satisfying. All right, here it is. Oh my goodness, it's actually so light. That was shocking. Let's peel off the paper. And here is the new MacBook Air. It is seriously just so thin. So this year there are four colors released, the space gray, silver, starlight, which is like a light gold color. And also of course the midnight, which is a very dark blue color. And it seems like that one is the most popular one right now. But the one that I got is just the classic space gray. But anyways, so the one that I got is just the base model. So it has eight core CPU, eight core GPU, and eight gigs of RAM. But you can spec it up to eight core CPU, 10 core GPU, and 24 gigs of RAM, which is new this year. And the one that I have has 256 gigabytes of storage. But actually for this year, the base model SSD is quite a bit slower than the others. I think if you're doing things that would easily use up a lot of RAM, then upgrading the SSD to the 512 gigabytes would probably be worth it. All right, but let's take a look at this new design. So this thing is really light. It only weighs 2.7 pounds and it's actually less than half an inch thick. And overall, this MacBook is just very flat. Like the top is very flat. There's no bulge like there was on the old design. And so is the bottom. And even these feet are very flat as well. But actually I noticed that there is nothing on the back, no engraving, but let's open up. Can't even pick it up. I have to slide it to the edge. All right, here we go. Let's open this thing up. Wow. Oh, okay. And there's this paper thing. Oops, I kind of messed up that peel. Okay, so the MacBook is booting up. Ooh, hello. The bezels are looking very thin, although there is the notch. I actually don't really mind the notch that much. But another thing that I noticed is that there are no like speaker grills anywhere. And also there is no text printed or engraved anywhere on this MacBook. Not here, not on the bottom. So like you really can't tell that this is a MacBook Air. I guess you can tell from the design, but you know, there's no obvious signs of it. And now I'm going to set up the new MacBook. All right, so just set up the MacBook and also did a quick typing test. Um, it's the same Magic Keyboard, so it feels really good. However, one thing to note is that it's not blacked out like it is on the 14 and 16 inch MacBook Pros. So you can see the gray aluminum color peeking through the keycaps, but I still think it looks really good. Okay, so the design of the MacBook Air definitely changed for the better, but what's probably more more significant is the new M2 SoC inside of this thing. I know it's not as big of a revolution as the M1, but it's still a very nice upgrade. I already did a video with the M2 MacBook Pro, and in that video, you can see the M2 can actually beat out my M1 Pro in some lightly threaded work, such as Photoshop. But of course, the M2 MacBook Pro has a fan while this one doesn't, so the performance of this thing will probably decline for longer workloads. But not having a fan does allow this thing to be extremely thin and light. Okay, but the speakers and the webcam on this thing also changed, so let's quickly test that out. So the webcam is 1080p, which I think is long overdue, but at least it finally happened. And yeah, I mean, it does look really good. Certainly a lot better than the 720p webcam on the M2 MacBook Pro, which I'll insert right here. And also let me know what you guys think of the microphone. I just took a quick listen to it. And to be honest, it sounds a little bit boxy. Um, I don't know if that's the microphone or the speakers, since the speakers are also new this year and that might just be the effect. And speak Speaking of the speakers, so on this MacBook, there aren't any top facing speaker grills. So the speakers are actually hidden underneath the keyboard, like at the top here and they actually fire like this way. So they're kind of firing into the hinge. Uh, let's take a listen. Oh, 
And now let's hear what it sounds like on the 14 inch MacBook Pro, which does have these top facing speaker grills. Okay, so the difference between these two is pretty noticeable and the MacBook Air does sound quite a bit worse. Probably because the speakers have to fire into the hinge, it just kind of sounds muffled. I know the speaker grills don't look the best with the bajillion holes, but still I would take these speaker grills any day for the better sound over having like a cleaner looking design, but a more muffled sound. Also, I found this kind of weird issue in that, especially when the speakers are playing loudly, you can feel the keyboard vibrate. So this can be kind of distracting. Okay, but now let's talk about the ports on this thing. So there's one headphone jack on this side, and then on the other side, there are two Thunderbolt ports. There's also a MagSafe port, and uh, the MacBook did come with a MagSafe cable. Let me take that out of the box. I still haven't. So I think the MagSafe cable is supposed to match the color of the MacBook, but if you ask me, like this isn't really space gray. It almost seems like I got the cable for the silver one. Here's what it looks like. I still think it would look cooler if this was a darker shade of gray, but it is braided and very nice quality. And underneath this paperwork is the power adapter. So the one that I got is 30 watt and it only has one USB-C port. The one that Apple showed at their event, which has two USB-C ports, is actually the 35 watt charger. And you can pay extra to buy that one, but if you buy the up spec MacBook with eight core CPU and 10 core GPU, then you'll get that one for free. Now let's take this MacBook with me to class. Okay, so this screen received a nice upgrade from last gen. It's a 13.6 inch display and it can go pretty bright, up to 500 nits. And it also has a nice anti-reflection coating. I did try sitting in various locations, including by large windows, and I feel like no matter where I'm sitting, I can see the screen very clearly. It also has a 2K resolution with some extra height, and everything on it looks super sharp, even when I'm on the more space setting. So this isn't the absolute best laptop screen that Apple has. It doesn't have the local dimming and 120Hz like the 14 and 16 inch MacBook Pros, but I still think it's a very good screen. It's got great color and resolution, and I think it is a very noticeable upgrade over like a 1080p laptop display, even in this small 13 inch form factor. The bezels on this are also much thinner now, although there is the notch. But if you don't like it, you can try this app called Top Notch, and I think it hides it very well. And because this thing is so small and light, it can fit well anywhere, like on small tables. It also feels pretty comfortable on my lap. So it's nice to use this thing on the go. And honestly, it doesn't feel much different from using an iPad. All right, so after doing some emails and writing at the library for about two hours, the battery only dropped around 6%. Of course, I'll have to test it more, but I have no doubt this will be able to last a long time, especially if you're just doing simple stuff on it. And of course, even if I run low, a battery bank like this can charge it up super quickly at 60 watts. Okay, so so far I'm really liking this new MacBook Air. Um, I think its new design is really sick and I'll start using this thing as my everyday laptop. The Air has been out Apple's most popular MacBook, and I think with this new refresh, it will continue to dominate just because I see it as a really good, like everyday laptop for lots of people. It's really thin and light and also a good size with a really good screen. So this thing is great to carry around and also to travel with. I think for most workloads, the thermal and SSD isn't really going to be an issue even for the base model. And when those aren't the limiting factor, the M2 chip is insanely fast and it'll probably stay competitive for many years to come. All right, so that's going to be it for this video. I really hope that you enjoyed it and found it entertaining and helpful. Let me know your thoughts on the new MacBook Air. Uh, tell me what color you prefer. I'll definitely be making more videos about this device, so make sure you subscribe so you won't miss those upcoming videos. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up and you can also check out my unboxing of the M2 MacBook Pro right over here. Uh, here are the rest of my social media platforms forms. And that's all that I have to say for this video. I really hope to see you in another one of my videos. Bye!